Now to that man accused of killing his baby. It's a tough story to report, let alone to hear, because the autopsy reveals that the eight-week-old boy died a violent death. Investigators say that his father, Jorge Quiroz, hit the child several times on his head and ribs. Channel 2's Andy Sirota is live in Southwest Houston where that father lived. Andy? And Dominique, this is the neighborhood where it all happened. He moved in with his aunt shortly after his son was born. The baby's mother lives in South Texas. Tonight, Jorge Quiroz is charged with injury to a child. And again, we do want to warn you that details of this crime are disturbing. Neighbors tell us they have never seen Jorge Quiroz before, but they knew all about the horrific crime he's accused of committing. A baby died, but I don't know what happened. The 36 year old who appeared before a judge today is charged with killing his eight week old son by striking him with his hand. It happened back in October. Quiroz and his infant son had been living with his aunt in her southwest Houston home. The pair shared a bedroom. According to court papers, Quiroz told investigators he put the baby in his crib on his back to sleep after feeding him. Quiroz claims he fell asleep on a futon next to the crib, and when he woke up a few hours later, he said he found his son unresponsive and face down. Quiroz took the eight week old to his aunt's bedroom where she performed CPR while his cousin dialed 911. The baby died shortly after paramedics rushed him to the hospital. An autopsy revealed the baby had seven impact strikes on his head and six rib fractures on the left side of his body that were in the process of healing. Injuries consistent with child abuse, according to one doctor. Somebody do that to their own child, they can do it to anybody. And according to court papers, the baby's ribs were fractured about a week before he died. Live in Southwest Houston tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News.